I don't think he's talking about the kind of brownies you are. A lot of difference from here to San Pedro. Spend a little more chilly here, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is a little more chilly here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Less people, we're cleaner. Yeah, yeah. We don't have cars, we only have low cars, so it makes it more good, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've been at San Pedro for about four days right now. Oh yeah? Yep, and we were at uh, San Ignacio before that. Oh. Hello? How about you today? Alright, alright, no problem, I win. Yeah, over here we just have this kind of streets. Oh, that's nice. We don't have big streets. So you can walk barefoot. Nice. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't mean to bump you. Oh, in that street, uh -huh. we have some tarpons. Oh, the tarpons. Okay. Have you heard about those guys? Is that where you put your hand over yeah, yeah. it and then they jump up at it? That's right. Do they do that at Lazy Lizard too? No, no, no. That's no. the only spot where you could do it. You want to have a stop there? What's it called? Uh, what is it? What's the place called? The Tarpon place. Tarpon View. You want to okay. have a look? Yeah, can we have a look? Yeah, yeah. We don't rush over here. We go slow. Okay. During the evening, if you ever come, there's a place called Iguana Reef. Okay. Right here, there's a couple of sharks during the night, or snorkeling sharks. Oh, okay. Yeah, around 6, 6.30, they come out. You could see them in the water. Oh, very cool. Like I feed them, you know. Come on, see, have a look. Yeah, let's take a look. They jump up here? Yeah, yeah. You, you could buy the sardines over here. Sardines is only 250 US or five Okay. And you could see them how they jump, you know. Okay, well, I want to do that then. They're big fish, huh? Yeah, they're the babies. See one over here? Oh, okay. They could grow to nine feet big. Hello. You want, you want the Yeah, I want to feed them, yeah. Give me a bottle of sardines. Good afternoon. So you're going to show me how to do this first, yeah, Ronaldo, we'll so, I don't lose my, so I don't lose my hand? That's right. That's okay. Really oh, my their, gosh. Their moat is like sandpaper, so if they ever touch you, they will not do nothing to you. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Holy moly, They're guys. Huge. I had no idea they were that big. That's what she said. Try this, Chris. No, I'm good. Oh, come so on, good. come on. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh my goodness. The last one jumped into the air. This is another bucket list item that you have to do when you're at Key Cocker, feeding the tarpon. So cool. And make sure you ask your taxi driver immediately, otherwise you'll miss out on this cool experience.
Captain, where um, do the tourists come from primarily? United States? All over the world. All over, okay. All over the world. We get more right now from the U.S. Yeah. Right now because of COVID, so the, yeah. the, the, the America have more people coming into the U.S. You know, from all different... That makes sense. There's a barbecue here. Oh, wow. That looks good. And it's cheap. It's only ten dollars. Five U.S. Wow. Yeah. Is that what you're showing me, Krista? Oh, the, yeah, the playground. You know why they call it the split? Because of Hurricane Hattie, right? 1961. I did learn that. 1961. Hurricane Hattie split the sun in two pieces. Oh, wow. Uh, really, this is the beach for us. Okay. Uh, we have a next beach called Coco King. Okay. It's in the next side of the island. So it's pretty hopping today, huh? Yeah. Lots of people. Every weekend, usually, we get locals from Belize. During the week, we got tourists, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. So we're at the split, guys. This uh, is a weather phenomenon that occurred with Hurricane Hattie where it broke the island in two and so there's a channel now and uh, I guess one of the challenges is to swim from one side to the other no we did not do it it's really really hot let's go get a drink day of the year it seems like yeah actually it's locals day it's a Sunday and we didn't know that but we kind of heard rumors when we were back in Amber Grease Key and uh, it's definitely hopping here but for two old folks like us it may not be the scene for today so we're gonna keep going deeper into the island now When you come to Key Calker, you just got to get the food on the side of the road, you know? Yeah, yeah. This, this is, is where it's at. Here, this man. is the real yeah. cooking. We were over in San Ignacio and we uh -huh. had some Creole, you know? Yeah. So now we got to try the island jerk chicken. All right. This is, not, this is just a kebab. Okay, well, hey. You want to try the jerk chicken breast? Yeah, you got a breast too? Yeah. All right, throw a breast on there. Much, All right, sir. thank you, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yes. What's that? It's incredible. It's incredible. Are you filming me? Yeah, sure. How's it taste? What are you eating right now? Mm. What is that? Corn cob. Corn. Is that jerk chicken? No, this is the jerk chicken. Is this? This is. Oh, that's a huge piece, yeah. man. Is this the? Uh, this is the rib. rib. Okay. I have this puffs under me, like in his lips. He knows what's up. I feel like a real little dude right here. <laughs> you look really little. Mm. Gone. Good. This is the saltiest water. Mm. It's so perfectly seasoned and spiced. You're talking about the jerk chicken now, No, huh? I'm talking about the kebab. I haven't tried the jerk chicken yet. Kebabs are one of my favorite foods. Alright, here we go. Oh my god. Mm. I think you just got pregnant. Mm. My, my wife said she thinks um she thinks she just got pregnant. No worries than anything you did. Oh, from oh, the food. From the oh yeah. You're so good. There you go. Oh thank you. Thank you. Oh, my god. One is a jerk chicken right there. Oh my god, yeah. I'm gonna break into it. Mm -hmm. I got the videotape with one hand and eat with the other. Mm -hmm. Imagine how hot that is cooking over that. I know. He was taking um, he was taking orders over the phone. 
at his grill right out here. The guy who took our picture, who got his food, mm. said he's been here since 2019. What, he has? No, the man. He had like a southern accent, southern U.S. Mm -hmm. And I heard him say he'd been in here since 2019. Good job. came and never went home. <laughs> oh my God. This pork rib is sensational. Yeah? Yeah, take some. Mmm. 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 Is it like slimy? Like I don't like. Take from the um the burnt piece. Right there. Rip it. Just rip it off. Mm. It's like what, two o'clock and you're on your mm -hmm. third meal of the day. Is this my third meal? Oh, I hit chips and salsa. <laughs> chips and salsa and, doesn't count. And some of my stuff. Um, the, the jack, you mean? Yeah. Well, you know, that was like a little appetizer. <laughs> mm. You look like a caveman right now. Mm hmm. Yeah, I do, ma'am. All right, how's the jerk? I haven't had it yet. Really? Mm -mm. This is what you've been dying for. I am. I think jerk in the U.S. is heavily seasoned to the point where it almost destroys the taste of the chicken. Yeah, That's what I don't it. like about jerk. This is almost like barbecue? when you do, yeah. So when you do jerk chicken in the United States, I hate it because I feel like I'm just eating a mouthful of seasoning yeah. that's just been like hard baked onto the outside, mm -hmm. which makes it so unenjoyable. And I think that any kind of sauce, any kind of seasoning, has to complement the meat rather than take away from it. So jerk chicken. So, this is really good. This is what I think of when I think of like good chicken. Like, like you're saying, it's kind of that barbecue flavor, but at the same time, it's a little spicy. Um, and it's not overly seasoned. Yeah, it's really good. It's perfect. Oh my God. Police checkpoints here in uh, Key Calker. They're not playing at all. They're checking everyone out and making sure everything's on the up and up. They literally just set this up two minutes after we walked by. So this one is driving without a license, it sounds like. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you need to be out of age and you have to show proof that you have a license. All right, for my next act. <laughs> we're basically stopping every 10 feet. Yeah, we're, we're stopping like every 10 feet because we're finding things, but this time I'm really excited because for the first time here in Belize, I have found barracuda steak. So we're gonna do barracuda steak. I'm excited. It's only 20 Belize, can't beat that. So then I'll have done lionfish, I'll have done gibnut, and now barracuda. Who could ask for anything more, right? <laughs> and jerk chicken. And jerk chicken. Oh. So, yeah, eat, eat, we're eating out K. Calker. K. We're eating, we're eating out Key Calker. We're eating out Key Calker. That's right, it doesn't sound good. Skip that. <laughs> so, we're eating everything we can find in Key Calker. Thanks for the correction. So do you personally like barracuda? Do you eat it? Yeah, I eat it, but I I really, I, when I do it, I just do it at home. Okay. And I deep fry it. And you deep fry it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But this is going to be grilled, right? Yeah, this is the grill. Okay. It's going to be, it's going to be the same as deep fried. Okay. But it's not going to be the same, same texture. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But it's still healthy though. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, this is better. For I've been me, looking. It's better. Okay, it's better okay. This way. We were on Amber Grease Key and we've been there for a while and I've been looking for it everywhere. No one has it right now. Yeah, cool. So I just 
I had lionfish while I was there. Right. And I tried the gib nut. Oh, you did? The royal how rat. Did you, how did you like it? I loved it. Man, that's the best. It's so it's good. Best. I cannot it's believe. Like, so this is like, for me, this is like the most exotic things I can eat because I would never find this at home in Maryland in the United States mm -hmm. on the East Coast. But to have barracuda now, I feel like I'm like eating so back, the best possible food. So back home, do you guys eat the barracuda? I don't know because I never see it on any menu. Never. 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 I've never seen it on a menu. No. No. There's a first time for everything. Absolutely. Right? And that's a thing. That's the whole point of living. You know, you got to try things you've never tried before. Yeah, it may end true. up being your greatest food. You know, you that's may end true. up loving it, you know? That's true. That's true. All right. Well, I'll let you go. But thanks, brother. That's Appreciate okay. it, man. Yeah. All right. Okay. Barracuda. Yum. Can I do uh, the you two beer special? Uh, you want Belican beer, like shot, stove, or like house? Which one do you want? Do you have Belican? Yeah, okay, Belican. Two Belican? Two Belican yeah. Alright, we're trying our first taste of Barracuda here. Here we go, bottoms up. Mm, bottoms up isn't the right word, but... Very good. It tastes like a uh, rich tuna or um, a salmon. It's a thick, hearty piece of meat. That's confusing, because salmon and tuna don't taste anything like... But they're both very thick, I think. Like it's a hearty piece of... It's not a... You think salmon's flaky? Yeah. I think salmon's very rich. Yeah, but you have flakes apart. Yeah, but I like compare... When they say like a salmon steak, I compare it to a kind of steak. So maybe that's just my perception. But I definitely like the barracuda better than the lionfish. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the barracuda was great. And they have drink specials here at Enjoy Restaurant in Key Calker and you can get two mixed drinks out of 14 possible combinations for just seven dollars Belizean and you can get beer five Belizean dollars for two during their happy hour special which comes out to about a dollar 25 a beer for a very good beer so I'm really excited about that I think I could uh, drink here all day probably Huge meal. Yeah, huge meal. Two beers, two cocktails. Two beers, two cocktails for about, for about 15 bucks. I mean, that's unheard of. Like, it would be like probably a $70 meal in the in, Yeah, in the U.S. So, mm. there you go. Oh boy, that's like a drunken nightmare. Oh my God, can you imagine? Yeah. It's funny. Visit the animals. Hey. hey, buddies. All right, we're in the international pet shelter here. Hi, buddy. So all the doggies are here. Look at this. Hi. 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 Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Hello. You're a puppy. You're a puppy. You're a puppy. They're puppies. <laughs> yeah. It's an international rescue. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, like this guy. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Smiling. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Look at the little guy right there just up there. Hi, baby. Hi. Look at kitty cat. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. I had to show some love to these beautiful dogs here. So cute. Thanks for traveling with Trey. I hope you enjoyed this look into Key Cocker in Belize. 
And if you liked this video, please leave me a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I promise to keep the content coming. And who knows, maybe something you see here will help you along as you plan your own vacation. Until next time.